and getting mentally prepared to compete. You see the focus. You feel the energy. These guys are ready to go. Thanks for joining us here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan, and we've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me. And the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, we've got Jared Vanderbilt, Conley out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then it's Lowry Markinen, and it's Olenek in at the center, locking down the middle. And for Washington, Hachimura and Porzingis, the post pair for them. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Bradley Beal. And it's Avdia in at the three spot. Steve, in this one, we've got two teams that really like to run their offense in the half court. I know in the modern game, we like to see pace and space. Guys shooting a three-point shot. But if this is your team, you must play to your strength. If it's half court, Play half court offense. Pass to Vanderbilt. In the corner, it's Clarkson. Rebound by the They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Well, what did them in was all the missed free throws. It could have been a much different outcome. You hate to lose it at the line, especially when you're getting what you want in other areas of the game. And it's Porzingis with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Wizards. This is their first chance to take a look at the Jazz this season. A, a matchup that only happens twice a year. These interconference battles can be a lot of fun. The balance between East and West after years of being dominated by the West is starting to even out some. Zingas passes to Beal. Rebound by Olenek. Pass to Conley. Clarkson bounce pass. Vanderbilt kicks to Conley. Hits the three-point bomb. 
give Connolly credit. He's recognized the need to become a knockdown shooter and put in the work. Now the pass to Avdia. Pass to Hachimura. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. I mean, over the last couple seasons, it, it feels like the Washington Wizards roster is in constant flux. I mean, from role players to all-stars, guys coming in and out. That free throw, no good. For Washington, how difficult, Greg, is it to win when your roster changes, as you were just talking about? It changes so much from year to year. It's really tough. I mean, take Spencer Dinwiddie. You know, he signs a big three-year deal, traded six months later. So when things like that happen, it's so difficult to create chemistry. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. Jazz have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. A 10-footer. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. That took some courage to take on the bigger defender right there, and he got the job done. Beal against Conley. A second chance effort, and Beal lays it in. And it's clear how confident Beal is. The closer he gets, the more his eyes light up trying to score. Clarkson kicks to Markinen. Astrolinic over Perzingis. That one, no good. Now Washington takes it the other way. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. I briefly spoke with Wes Unseld Jr. This is a team that loves to run, and he really wants to see them do what they love. So transition ball should be the order of the day, Kevin. Back to you. Thank you, David. Hachimura, no good. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. And that one good from Clarkson. A, a fine shooter from deep. Clarkson has a good feel for when to let it fly. Now here is Hachimura. Stats on him. He's averaging nine points a game. Here's Avdia. The rebound by the Jams. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. Yes, the other team is feeding off that enthusiasm. You have to try and match that energy. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And continuing to press their advantage, they're not taking their foot off the gap. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here's Vanderbilt. And he converts the layup. Vanderbilt's got his second bucket. Oh, wow, guys. Doesn't look good. We've got an injury here. Well, I mean, you really feel for him. I mean, and the, the entire team. Just, you got to hope for the best. Uh, I just hate seeing this. But no need to jump the gun. Let's see what it turns out to be. And Washington making a change here. Kisberg's checked in. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Outside, Beal. Pass to Persingas. Now here is Hetchimura. Down to five on the shot clock. A wide open look here for Kuzma. Another shot. The rebound by the Jams. Vanderbilt's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Here's Olenek. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Now here's Kispert. He's covered by Clarkson. Kispert, the pass to Hachimura. 
Here's Kuzma. Kept alive for Zingas. And another shot. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got his fifth rebound in this one. And there's the pass to Vanderbilt. teams Greg beginning to hit their stride and get into a rhythm and the same can be said for the younger talent the rookies are shaking off those debut jitters and starting to show us what they can really do hey Steve looking at the Utah Jazz they've been so consistent during the regular season Kevin but they haven't been able to carry this momentum into the postseason this is a team that wants to win a title so badly but they know they need to execute better during the playoffs so timeout called here, the first for Washington. And you know there aren't many teams with a more dedicated fan base than Utah. The Jazz fans are behind their team no matter what. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for Washington. Trailing by 10. And it's Porzingis that time on the assist from Kispert. And a little contact won't go a long way against Porzingis. What a display of physicality. It's always striking, Greg, to see the bond between the Jazz team and their followers. Well, when you're the only game in town, people take the team to heart. And we see it in cities like Portland and San Antonio as well. The fans form that attachment to their team. Here's Beal after Jordan Clarkson's bucket. And this is what Beal does. He puts pressure on the defenders and makes them compromise when he does. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Utah. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. That free throw, no good. G.A., he's asked to carry a big-time scoring load, but Bradley Beal makes his teammates better as well. And that's an area, Kevin, he has really grown. And his playmaking, when the defense overcommits, you make them pay with the pass. Sexton, he's checked in for Mike Conley. And he can't hit the second. 2022, Greg, a year for the Washington Wizards with some historic significance. And it marks 25 years of the Washington Wizards' name being on an NBA jersey. A cool moment for the current players who can look back on this franchise and know they're a part of history. Here's Hachimura after Jordan Clarkson's bucket. Here's Kispert. Here's Persingas. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Porzingis has got his second bucket of the night. The, the reflexes on Porzingis can surprise you. For a big, he plays with great quickness. Sexton kicks to Clarkson. Buries the long-range jumper. Clarkson's got 12 in the game. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. Here's Persingis. Rebound collected by Clarkson. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Porzingis with the block. And the 7-3 reach of Porzingis being put to great use there. Back to Kuzma. And shot on the way. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got his sixth rebound on the night. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with his offense. Clarkson missing again. Wizards trailed by 13. Kispert, the pass to Persingas. It's Beal on the wing. And so the ball out of bounds. Beal touched it last. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. Always good to get another look at a terrific defensive play. 
And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. DeLon Wright, he's checked in for Hachimura. Sexton against Wright. Puts up a three. Rebounded by the Wizards. Alperzingis. He's been a nice option for them offensively, and he's averaging more than 17 points a game. Addition out to Sexton. Passes it to Vanderbilt. Arkin in with it. Back to Vanderbilt. Clarkson on the wing. He's got 12. And basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for 10. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Anytime you watch the Jazz, you have to think back to those great Utah teams of the 80s and 90s. They easily could have won a few rings. Washington making some changes. Daniel Gafford comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Will Barton in for Bradley Beal. Rudy Gaze checked in for the Jazz. Horton Zucker comes in for Markinen. Up and in on the layup. Maybe even more than a few. And Smitty, it seems hard to believe those Jazz didn't win a title or two. Kevin, well, if it wasn't for a player named Michael Jordan, they probably would have. Those Stockton, Malone Jazz teams ran into Jordan twice in the finals when he was at the peak of his career. Moment here now for an injury report. Now an update on Avdia from David Aldridge. David, what'd you find out about Denny? Hey, Kevin, I spoke with the head athletic trainer for Washington. He said the news is not good and that his forearm is broken. While the season isn't very old, this is still distressing to hear, and somebody is going to have to pick up the slack while he's out. Kevin, back to you. David, thanks for the great update, guys. It doesn't sound good. No, if that report is accurate, he's going to be spending a lot of time in rehab and on the sideline. I know he'll fight back hard to get back on the floor. He wants to be out here with his teammates. Now here's Porzingis after Colin Sexton's miss. In shooting while in rhythm, Porzingis demonstrating how you torch the defense off the dribble. Here's Gay. That shot off. And Washington the other way now. Pass to right. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Jazz leading by eight. Clarkson with the ball. 14 points for him. Sexton on the wing. By Porzingis. And he comes up with the deuce. They have been excellent so far. Coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Here's Persingas. Rebounded by the Jazz. Outside, Sexton. Over Persingas. Persingas with the block. Martin surveying the floor. That one good for two. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And here's Sexton. 11 points for him in that last game against Atlanta. And his rebounding was solid in that effort as well. He did a lot of work on the glass. All around, just his effort level was off the charts. And that's a foul called on Colin Sexton. That is his first foul of the game. And Utah making a change here. Beasley's checked in. One eleven left to play in the first quarter. Now, here's Kispert. He's guarded closely. Erzingas can't hit. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. Game. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Attacking the rack to great effect. Well, Rudy Gay was born in Brooklyn. Over 100 NBA players hail from that borough of New York City, making it a hotbed for Hoops Town. Well, 
On the free throw, no good. A talented, versatile player who has been on a few teams. Rudy Gay is still going. And the jump by Kispert. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Yeah, defensively, your mantra at this point has to be no easy buckets. And the rejection by Kaffer. Feeds to right. Barton outside. Fires from deep. Rebound, Utah. Here's Sexton. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. Rebounded by Gafford. That's one he knows he should have drained. Here's White. Jordan Clarkson getting it done for the Jazz. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And the guys, what's your take on Utah so far? You could see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. Here's Wright. Daniel Gafford is out there with Rui Hachimura. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's DeLon Wright. And it's Kuzma in at the three slot. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Wizards. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drop. His team is down, but with the way he went at the rim, you know they'll keep fighting the entire game. Comfortable on the offensive end, marketing, drawing contact, but maintains his focus. Here's Gafford. Nails the baby hook. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Conley kicks to Olenek. Back to Conley. Over right. Conley's shot is off. And so it's right, bringing up the ball for the Wizards. Six-point game. Next up on the schedule, the Grizzlies. That'll be a home game. Here's Kuzma. Second shot opportunity. The play by Hachimura as he finishes it off with a two. Hachimura's got his first bucket of the night. Pass to Vanderbilt. Out to the wing. Here's Olenek. He can't get it to go. And Washington the other way now. Gafford kicks to Hachimura. Shoots from the block. It's deflected. And for marketing, contesting shots is not about explosive athleticism. It's about being in the right position and timing it right. Comes up empty down low. Wizards trailed by four. Here's Kuzma. Another miss by Kuzma. You want to talk about ugly? This team is losing, partly because he hasn't drained a shot all night. It's tipped and stolen by Wright. The pass to Kuzma. And that one goes. First for him tonight, one for eight. A great challenge there defensively, but Kyle's mindset wins out on the offensive end. Passes it to Vanderbilt. Here's Olenek. Shoots over Gafford. Olenek can't hit. Pass to Hachimura. Whoops. Anticipated the pass. Turnover. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, Kristaps Porzingis famously earned the nickname the Unicorn for his combination of size and skill. Former All-Star, injuries have held him back. 
But now a new team presents a new opportunity. KP says, I'm going to take my game to the next level because my body is going to be healthy, and that's it. Well, Kevin, let's hope so. Absolutely. He has had injuries along the way. But the talent is obvious. David, thanks. Jazz have gone one of six from the field in the second quarter. It's been a rough period so far. Here's Conley. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Washington trailing. Beal with it. Conley picks him up. The shot by Beal, no good. The defense is right there. Quality contest, and they threw him off his rhythm. A floater. Conley's shot is off. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Here's Kuzma. The Wizards with another miss. Utah has gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Astro Winnick. And the rejection by Gafford. And it's Beal in the corner. Over Conley. That misses had a chance to tie it there. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Here's Markinen. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. He can score as a pick and roll ball handler. Something extremely rare for someone marking in size. Gafford passes to Kuzma, and the layup is good. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye opening. And the pass to Vanderbilt. He kicks it to Beasley. Beal with the steal. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Utah leading. Inside. And the dunk by Olenek. Yeah, he can surprise you around the rim. Olenek has some lift. Right, the pass to Gaff. Beal against Beasley. To the inside. Right. Buries it down low. Wright's got six. Utah is shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Over to the wing. Hachimura against Vanderbilt. Lock at six. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. Let's it go from 14. Now just one for seven with that miss. Tough night so far. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Here's Beal, and it's all evened up. Six points for him. And there's not an area on the floor where Beal can't do damage. He is a handful for any defense he goes up against. Now here's Markinen. He had 15 points last out. And the three-pointer GA has become a focal point of Malik Beasley's game. Uh, yeah, up, up until last season, only about half of his attempts were from beyond the arc. Now he's really zeroing in on the long ball as his primary weapon. throw good Beasley and when people talk about defense the term boxes and elbows comes up a lot great for our audience can you explain what that's about it's a great point Kevin and, and listen the two defenders on what we call the boxes that's down in the low post area and you see those two boxes down at the end of the free throw line and then you have the two defenders on the elbow so that's the edge of the free throw line the idea to close down the paint Wizards have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the second quarter, just under 50% shooting. Here's Wright. And it's Gay with the rebound. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for Utah. Passes it to Beast. Jazz passing it around. 
Pass to Alexander Walker. Count it. Good. Alexander Walker's got his first points in this one. Wizards trailed by four. Barton outside. Hachimura finds right. Kispers checked in for the Wizards. And Utah also making a switch. Horton Tucker's checked in for Beasley. Jazz on D. Now here's Beal. He's coming off a 31-point game against Dallas. It's Gay on the way. He's covered by Hachimura. And that one's good by Gay. Playing with good instincts. The key on making those around him better. Back to Beal. Pass to Hachimura. Out to Porzingis. All alone. The rebound by the Jams. Oh, man. He hasn't had the rhythm tonight. Tried to make up for it there, but it just wasn't meant to be. And the foul called on Porzingis. That'll be his second foul of the game. His second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. Wizards on D. They trail by six. Here's Horton Tucker. Porzingis with the block. And they'll keep possession. And that one is good. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. And that's a foul. Call on Bradley Beal. That's foul number two for him. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Here's Sexton. There's the pass to Alexander Walker. And the three off target. It's so hard to keep the defense honest when you miss wide open looks like that. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Yeah, that's two really unproductive trips in a row ending in turnover. And it's the Jazz's ball. They've got an 8 nothing run. Here's Alexander Walker. Back to Sexton. The tray just four to shoot. Rebound by the Wizards. Persingas has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. It's tipped. Here's Sexton. Beal with the block. Here's Persingas. Rebound by Alexander Walker. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He has taken some low percentage shots, and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion, more ball movement. That should lead to better looks for him and for the entire team. And he's checked in for the Jazz. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for Washington. It's a 10-point game. Looking to end the run. That shot is off. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Shots good by Alexander Walker. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks 
from inside. Martin inside the line. And again, Washington, no good. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. You know what? This has always been a debate. Do you take the timeout, or do you let your guys try to fight through it? Here's Kispert. Bangs home the trifecta. Kispert's got seven points in the game. And from beyond the arc, he puts a stop to that 12-0 run by the Jets. Porzingis with the block. And the foul on Rui Hachimura. That's his first foul. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Markinen, he's checked in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Utah leading by nine. Now Clarkson, 11 points for him in that last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Kispert, the pass to Hachimura. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And when Hachimura right. is looking Elbow. to score, it sometimes Two. forces the D to get aggressive. Love the energy. The Wizards shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Shooting two. And that one falls for Hachimura. He hits both from the strike. Jazz leading by seven. Sexton kicks to Clarkson. Gay against Hachimura. Fade away. Rebound, Washington. Beal's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. Sexton against Beal. The offensive rebound. Sexton's shot is good. Sexton's got his second basket of the game. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. Hachimura finds Barton. An easy two points on the layup. And the instincts there from Hachimura notice the overcommitment by the defense and then makes the right pass. Clarkson for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Clarkson's got 17 now. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Beal, that's for two. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Utah holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Jordan Clarkson was on fire in the first half. He ended up with 17 points and one rebound. He came in with something to prove tonight after having a very tough outing in their last game. And Shaq, what did you think about what we saw from Utah? It's been a surprising first half. They were big underdogs coming in, and they didn't play like that. They were not thinking. They came out playing like they were supposed to win. That's how you got to play. Man. You need to continue that mindset if they want to keep making it happen. Kenny, your take on Washington so far? Ice cold. Bridges from the yard. The question is now, can they shake it off and get back in the groove? Another option is compensate by going to the rim. 
And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. You got to like what Jordan Clarkson has done in this game. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Wizards trailed by eight. And so in the game for the Jazz. Up front, it's Vanderbilt at the four. And Kessler at the five. Conley out there with Clarkson. And it's Markinen in at the small forward. Martin passes to Hachimura. Markinen pulls it in. Jazz shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. And Markinen can give you, Greg, a solid defensive effort at both the three and the four. And Kevin, many thought Markinen was a defensive liability. But given credit, worked hard to prove he wasn't. And while not a superb defender, he has become a plus defender for this team. Now here's Porzingis following the miss by Michael Conley. That savvy little up fake there. Cool in the D. Porzingis has got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Washington. Clarkson outside. Here's the lob to the hoop. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Not just a scorer. Clarkson is very willing to dish it when a teammate's open. Beal finds Barton. Back to Beal. The Wizards working the ball around now. Kuzma inside. He's covered by Clarkson. Porzingis can't hit. Jazz leading by eight. Conley feeling it out. Tries it from 19. Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Here's Beal. Plays it up off the glass. Beal's got eight points. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. All oh, the officials are all over that one. It's his first trip to the line. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. First one falls for him. And a guy who's bounced around the league a bit. Clarkson tightened up his game, and now he is a key factor in what this team does. Kelly Olenek checked in for the Jets. That one misses, so he goes one for two. And staying healthy for Porzingis has been a challenge over his career. Not uncommon for players standing well above seven feet. Utah leading by seven. No good on the three. Barton against Markinen. The 11-footer. And Washington again with the bucket. And in New York, even before his injuries, the front office voiced concerns about Porzingis' ability to stay healthy. Well, the, the track record for players 7-2 and up, not great. And, and today's game demands more movement from big men than ever before. Doesn't get exactly the screen he wants, but turns out he doesn't need it. And Beal kicks to Hachimura. Kuzma passes to Beal. Shoots it up. That one rolling around and runs out. Jazz have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Olenek with it. Looking at his point production, he averages almost 11 points a game. 
Shot clock at six. Vanderbilt finds Clarkson. From outside, off the mark. Wizards trailed by seven. Beal deciding where to go with it. Here's Hachimura. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got his fourth rebound in this one. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A. Thanks, Kevin. Wizards ownership has promised to never hit the hard reset button. We saw from teams in recent years like the Sixers. But the fact remains that this is a franchise that last enjoyed a 50-win season in 1979. So for the patient, diehard fans in the DMV, it seems the wait for a true contender may take a lot longer. Kevin? Uh, well, time will tell, David. Thanks. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Washington. DeLon Wright comes in for Barton. And Jared Vanderbilt gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And so it's Washington with it. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Kuzma, a good look. Utah with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. He lobs it up. And it's out of bounds. The Jazz able to retain possession here. Here's Horton Tucker. He's still scoreless so far in this one. That one goes. Count it. And the Jazz lead by nine. Defense does all they can to stop Taylor Horton Tucker inside. He scores it anyway. Passes to right. The Wizards with another miss. The Jazz have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Pass to Horton Tucker. Easily outside. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Gafford. Just two to shoot. Conley. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And that's now seven points for Mike Conley. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Porzingis can't hit. Utah leading by 11. And here is Conley. He's got seven. Washington with the rebound. Gafford's got rebound number five here tonight. That's to Porzingis. Right down low. He is against Vanderbilt. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Jazz. Something I've noticed is how aggressive they've been on driving the basketball. Time and time again, they've turned cracks in the defense into points. And another thing they've been doing all game long is knocking down the three. Shooting has been a big part of their game plan tonight. Here's Horton Tucker. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Beasley finds Sexton. No good on the triple. And it's Kuzma with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Trailing here by eight. And the layup's good off the glass. Kuzma's got six. Solid at fighting through contact. I like how Kuzma accepts these challenges and converts. Easily outside. The pass to Sexton. The Jazz again can't hit it. Washington's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And it's Porzingis that time on the assist by Kuzma. And now just a four-point Utah lead. Horton Tucker, the pass to Beasley. 
Here's a winning. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Przingis. A physical player, Kelly Olenek, using his body well to attract contact. For Utah, they have gone five of seven from the free throw line in the game. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. And missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. And the second free throw, good. A physical big man who won't back down from anyone. Every team can use a guy like Kelly Olenek. Here's Beal, and the jam by Beal. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They've shown a lot of heart, a lot of fight, and they're close to taking the lead. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And that is a huge block, given how close this game is. A stop like that was right on point. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. And Utah making a change here. Gay's checked in. Rudy Gay on the wing. Here's Horton Tucker. Count it. Horton Tucker's got four points in the quarter. Doing work inside. Nice finish by Taylor Horton Tucker. And Kuzma has it in the corner. Second chance shot. And the shot goes in. Gafford's got his second bucket tonight. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. Kicks to Beasley. Gafford against game. Six on the shot clock. And it's off from three-point range. And it's Washington's ball. They're on an 11 to 3 run right now. Here's Kuzma. Banked in off the glass. Kuzma's got eight points. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Here's Gay. Rebound, Washington. Deal with it. Gay picks him up defensively. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the ability of Beal to just wear out the defense. At times, you almost have to foul him to stop him. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Wizards. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. And also, they took advantage of their quickness Got inside and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And, and quite simply, Beal is an all-NBA player in our league, a multi-dimensional guard who does many things well, especially scoring the ball. Here's what Utah is going with right now. Markinen comes in for Horton Tucker, and it's Jordan Clarkson in for Beasley. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Utah Jam. Dishes it to Gay. Back to Clarkson. Over Beal. The Jazz again can't hit it. Washington's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Berzingis can't hit. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. Outside, marking it. A three-pointer off the mark. The Wizard shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. For Zingas, here's Beal. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Beal's got the lead up to three now for Washington. 
and you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. They just stuck with the game plan. Wow, Kuzma. After Colin Sexton's three-pointer that didn't go, Kuzma passes to Gafford. Stolen by Gay. In transition, here come the Jazz. The shot by Sexton, no good. Washington leading now by three. Pass to Beal. He's on target from eight feet out. Beal's got ten points in just the second half. A tale of two halves. He's really turned it around here, scoring the ball. And the Jazz call time here. Well, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. For the Wizards, Hachimura is checked in for Przingis, and it's Will Barton in for Beal. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Jazz. They need this one, and he sinks the layup. Vanderbilt's got 10. It's a close game here in Washington. Barton against Clarkson. Gafford passes to right. Over Sexton. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got five rebounds tonight. The shot by Sexton, no good. Still trying to shoot his way out of this funk. But if it doesn't come within the floor of the offense, the whole team suffers. Right inside. Defended by Sexton. And it goes for the fifth time in ten shots for him this game. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. And Olenek kicks to Markinen. Olenek the best to Sexton. Got a hand on it. And that's a welcome sign for sure. Hachimura demonstrating a willingness to want to improve as a defender. Olenek has the open look. Rebound, Washington. The defense was begging him to take that shot, and he took the bait. But you can't blame him. Martin. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. First trip to the line for him here. free throw good from Barton and if they continue Kevin their outstanding free throw shooting that'll help them seal the deal and the Wizards making a change here Rosinkas has checked in all three throws good from Barton 34 seconds left in the third guys are looking for a spark here yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Pass to Vanderbilt. And that one is off. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Definitely got to use the clock here and get the last shot. But you know, this is where your patience is tested. If you shoot too quickly, you give your opponent a chance to close out the quarter. Here's Barton, and Barton throws it down. Now, how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. And so it's the Washington Wizards in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. Trailing to start the quarter, they battled hard and pulled off a tremendous comeback. Now enjoying the lead. Back to the action in just a minute. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. 
and the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, it takes good vision, and it takes good decision-making right there. He showed both, and he did so at a very high level. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Jazz trailed by nine. Hachimura and Porzingis, the post pair for him. Will Barton is out there with Wright, and it's Kuzma in at the three. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. Man, that's sure got to be a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in that first half. Pass to Hachimura. Shoots over Markinen. No good on the shot. And Utah the other way now. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Deep two from Clarkson. Yep, right through the net. Clarkson's got 20 points. And give Clarkson credit for seeking that tough shot. It's difficult trying to distract him on the way up. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. Davis has checked in for the Wizards. Beal comes in for right. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Guys, I had a chance to find out what Wes Ensel Jr. discussed with his players. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? Thanks so much, David. Now, here's Sexton. The pass to Olenek. The shot by Markin and nobody around. Had the space there, but it's offline. And it's Davis with the ball for the Washington Wizards. Six-point lead. Porzingis at the elbow. Just five to shoot. Here's Beal. Tries again. He lays it in. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Beal against Cup. At the elbow, it's Markinen. Shoots over Hachimura. That one's good, and the Washington lead is cut down to just six points on the bucket from Markinen. And Beal kicks to Perzingis. Conley against Beal. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Beal's got four points this quarter. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Conley. Rebounded by the Wizards. For Singus. Here's Kuzma. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Clarkson against Hachimura. It's tipped. Kuzma outside. Passes it to Hachimura. He kicks to Beal. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Gill is checked in for Davis. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Beal's got 22. Jazz trailed by 10. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Tries from 16. Olenek can't hit. The Wizards have gone 4-7 of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. And that one is good from Bradley Beal. Beal's got the lead up to 12 now for the Wizards. And there isn't a lot that they're doing well right now defensively. They just seem to be disconnected defensively in the second. Gill against Clarkson. The Jazz again can't hit it. 
Here's Washington. They've outscored him 10 points to two during this run. Here's Beal. It's good. 26 points for him. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. They've taken nothing for granted. You can see their plan the moment rather than the score. Utah calls timeout. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Kispert's checked in for Washington. Conley dishes to Olenek. Pass to Sexton. Such a menace close to the rim. You got to respect Sexton's fearlessness when he's amongst the bigs. throw good Sexton and the aggressiveness Sexton plays with is it's infectious he, he motivates his teammates to play just as hard that one misses and they are shooting themselves in the foot here they've lost their touch at the line the percentage continues to drop from where it was in that first half. Now Conley. Following the miss by Kyle Kuzma from deep. Porzingis with the block. Who's back up? There's another block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Oh! oh. And there's that creativity from Beal. When he's in flight, boy, he's going to show you something special. Astro Olenek. Back to Conley. Porzingis with the block. It's just been a frustrating day for him all the way around. It's rubbed off now, I think, on the rest of the team. Beal against Conley. Beal the pass to Porzingis. And it's good. Two points. 17 points for Porzingis. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Out left to the wing. The Jazz with another miss. Now the Wizards with it. They're on a 16-3 run right now. Kuzma kicks to Hachimura. Now Kispert. Fader on the way. Rebound collected by Clarkson. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. And it's good for two. Persingas has got 10 points in just the second half. Nice, unselfish passing there by Bill. He, he knows he can't do it all by himself. A pass to Clarkson. Over Kispert. A shot by Clarkson. No good. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Singus passes to Kuzma. Looking to end his cold spell. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. And so Markinen will bring it up for Utah. 19-point game. Outside, Sexton. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Sexton's got six here in this quarter. And he is just an explosive athlete. Sexton not at all phased by the contact. Here's Kuzma. Markinen pulls it in. Jazz trailed by 17. Olenek with it. Back to Conley. Beal with the steal. Jumps up. And finished off by Beal. Wow. 
Beal's tenaciousness paying off. He works so hard, and then he'll catch you unprepared and make you pay for it. And Olenek kicks to Sexton. Porzingis with the block. Now, here's Kispert, defended by Sexton. This is it to Kuzma. Pass to Kispert. It's good from long range. And not everything fell for him in that first half, and now it looks like they're beginning to hit their stride. Conley, the pass to Markinen. And here's Clarkson. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Clarkson's got 23. Continue from where he left off. First three-pointer of this half, fourth of the game. And Kuzma has it in the corner. Three, three, three. Over Sexton. The wide-open look here for Perzingis. He can't get that one to fall. The Jazz go the other way with it. And the foul on Rui Hachimura. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. The Wizards making a switch here. Barton is checked in. And Utah with a change here, too. Vanderbilt's checked in. Conley, the pass to Vanderbilt. Conley against Beal. Clarkson for three. And it's Bradley Beal with the rebound. Beal's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Yeah, easy call. guys GA are just going with their initials like KD or AD or KG. <laughs> Do we need more creativity? I don't know Kevin. Maybe the league could give guys a cash bonus for picking a nickname. Initials excluded. That might spark some creativity. Here's Markinen and that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Here's Beal. Pass to Hachimura. Here's Kuzma. He's covered by Clarkson. And it's Hachimura penetrating. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. One of the surprises with Markinen is how physical he can be. He's willing to mix it up. The Wizards working the ball around now. And here is Kispert. Offside Beal. Six to shoot. And that one good. Beal's got 34. And this is Beal at his best. He's cooking with grease and his teammates need to keep feeding him. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Wizards. Two great rebounding teams. And, and these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight. And that was the edge they needed. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice they're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Beal. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Kispert kicks to Beal over Conley, and there's Bradley Beal on the assist from Kispert. Beal's got 36. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. 
especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Six second difference between shot and game clock. And the pass to Persingas. Shakes over Olenek. Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Passes it to Markinen. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Kispert. Competing, battling inside. This is what coaches want to see marketing do more of. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Incredible touch for a big man. Marketing shows it both in the field and at the line. He makes one of two that time. And so it's Washington easily grabbing this one. There was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control operating flawlessly. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.